Welcome to Nippon Nippon Cafe. I'm your host, Alice Draken, and we are back for another Final Fantasy kind of day. And that's going to be annoying. Also, we have a guest. Orange Juices has joined us today. Are we sure it doesn't cut off your voice if, or does it? Yeah, I know, but. Okay. All right, so what I have decided today was that we would go ahead and play on Kujata instead of the other one. So we are further into the story in this one. I will keep going back to the other one, but so you can see much of what's going on. But that's all for whatever. And it looks like we have a whole slew of people today. Jeez. I wonder what some of the good stuff is. There you go. All right. Let's see what I can do. Like, I've got so many stuff, and it's just getting annoying to wear the same old, same old stuff. Oh my gosh, is that outfit? Oh, one comes with suspenders, and one comes without. Doesn't even look like it could be a shirt. Looks like strings. I've always wanted one of these. Jeez, the price though. I feel like a lot of things are going up in price lately. Forty-seven. What 
I was looking at some of the things. No, I haven't bought nothing. I'm just looking. What? <laughs> Don't look at you. Why? <laughs> Oh, please don't do that. You don't want to hurt your eyes. Your eyes are already dead. Okay, whatever. You put like so much more junk in here. Here's my new stuff. I haven't put it on yet, I guess. Oh my gosh, my stuff is almost dead. Jeez. My stuff is almost dead. Yeah. It's kind of like the health of the item. So it's almost dead. Alright, I'm going to go heal my stuff. Fix my stuff, repair it, whatever, don't care. <laughs> you? You've already gotten that one? Oh, okay. No. I know, and then I keep doing it. I'm just going to... I'm trying to be somewhat frugal with my gay money. There we go. Now I can finally, like, do DPS. Yeah, but I need to tweak something with my skills.
I had it set before. I need to go out into the field and just like beat some stuff up and try and... Where's a good place for a little 50? Can you like core at this? I'm gonna go down. So, Jolt, for Thunder, Jolt, Guerrero, Too easy. I know that, but cheese. I feel like there's something else though. These are like 36. That's what the problem I'm having. It's like I need something. Maybe like more Dona. I feel like that would have like 50s. At least 40s, if anything. Some harder to hit so I can actually go through a combo. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't point out how close you were, so it's your own fault. You Fours. That's great. That'll do me good. I guess this frog is a fate. I don't want to go too far into the story because most of the people are like... Why? Because there's one name for everything. The whole thing. You gotta go so far around everything. 
Well, then actually, there's two. Wait, maybe. Look at that one, close up. No, not that one, the other one. Okay, never mind. My bad. Actually, that wouldn't be hard to make, you know? A little lamb. Yep, snowstorm. Snowstorm goo boo. Alright, so I know what that one is. Okay, so then those... I think that one's first. Yeah, combo attack. You do that one first, and then the enchanted repost. Then it's like that. Oh, jeez, the music. It's loud. I'm gonna go check out the FC. Jeez. So want to get yourself beaten up. I always thought when you did the FC, you had to do it in this specific thing. But, yeah, because I started it there, but. <laughs> you look so epic with your little lines on your eyes. <laughs> I 
Oh, we finally got our... Our three! <laughs> I can t and see since he's been putting like random stuff in there. All right, so I know I remember what I was doing, like how we organized it last time. stuff back in. Probably make the, like the third one be all like alchemy and stuff. Mhm. Mm Second page could be like all cloth and stuff, and earth can be on the first one. We need weapons in there. They're, they want to do that. Why don't uh, we suggest them selling them and then putting the money return in the FC chest? So, I don't know. He could if he wants to, but otherwise, I would. I kind of want it to be like that. So we could get some like returns and stuff, and I could actually be buying more items for the FC.
Way better than it was. Now all organized. Alright, what crystals do I have to put in? There. I stocked it. Got like three thousand. I think I can go check my grand company. Oh, for a second, his head blended in with a rock. I was like, it's like what is he? <laughs> He's headless. What the crap? <sighs> you might need to move your TV down. He's the Ativian Limsa is crazy. It's so weird. It's just because it's a Friday. Awesome, all right, now what's the next one? 4,000, gotta get 4,000. Eh, it still doesn't want to do that for me. There's supposed to be something you can do, and I don't know unless it's... Like, where are you supposed to be buying? Can you make... Oh, three! Ooh, it's even better. Guess I can't do that with the, our. I have to go to the Twin Adder to be able to work on our FC. That sucks. Alright, I guess I could go and do individual class quests and leveling up. Oh, I haven't done Temple of Corn for them. Yeah. Shut up! I said corn. 
whatever, fine. The temp um, temple of corn on the cob, there. Happy? It's so called. It's called. It's called corn. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my gosh. I'm wondering what things I can grab. I think I didn't do anything. Grab the things that were at. Horizon. Like, I think there was two new dungeons I could have grabbed. Smart. I guess I do need to move on with my stories stuff. I love that little crown. Peroni tattoo. I am 50. I don't know if I've done the 50 quest. Yeah, the... Here's this too, honey. I brought this up. Yep. Here. Right there next to you when you need it. Smart. Yeah, see, there's the whole tire, and then they had that update. They had that update. Oh, what a big benediction, though. All right, so forgive me again, how brother and I have considered every possibility and attempted every incantation at our disposal. But I fear the task of completing the enchantment has proven beyond our abilities. No living Pajal, not even our sister, possesses such power. Without the blessing of a Toacant, there is nothing we can do. With the ashes returned to their rightful place and resting place, a Toacant spirit will return, surely. It is only a matter of time. Looking around you, sister, open your eyes and ears. Time is one thing we do not have. Arun? The fury of the Great One mounts with each passing moment. It will not be contained much longer. No, the time for waiting is long past. Now is the time for action. But again, has garb. The enchanting is not yet complete. The situation is far from ideal, yet we have no choice. We must trust in a has power and do what we can. Do I hear you right, Arun? Why it was not long ago that you objected to Egeha's very presence at the ritual? I may be stubborn, sister, but I am no fool. I have witnessed Ageha's abilities with my own eyes. There can be no doubting that she is the mage of the white one as worthy as, as you and I. I feel like I should be playing the other one. Arun, 
If you would place your trust in a gay house, so I see no reason why I should not. Very well, let us hasten for Evershade. I just feel like every time I play this, there, I'm skipping around in the story and everyone's probably like really confused. What the crap are you doing? I'm so confused! You're supposed to fill it up with all the items you want to use for glamour. But remember that you can't use them as an actual uh, yeah. item anymore. So I would say don't do that unless you actually have all that extra. So what do you think? Should I be doing it with the other one? What? I'm like so far in the story already. I feel like before anyone says watch me, I could just like turn off, delete it. <laughs> Ironworks um, is uh, in Mordona. It's gonna make me dizzy doing that. That's what I'm saying in Mordona. Maybe you. Well, those aren't uh, ironworks, honey. Those are completely different ones. You've uh, like tweaked them. Yes. There is a specific ironworks, and then there is another type of ironworks. There's the one you buy from Mordona, and then there's the one you buy from te uh, the market. What do you think? It's all purple. You didn't answer me. Let me get those. <laughs> know that if you no, weren't you gotten there yet. Told me where to buy it before. Oh, shut up. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I've skipped ahead like crazy amounts if I'm playing this one. But whatever, I mean, I keep telling them I'm jumping between these two games. Let's see if I can survive at least.
great one's rage is too strong. I cannot reach him. Stay focused, Arun. If we fail, fall, who will rise to take our place? But sister, the forest itself turns against us. If we can only reach the Great One, his minions will relent. Cast away your worries and focus your mind on the ritual. No, Geha. Stand strong, Geha. Are you going to let some overgrown shrub ruffle your feathers? And the two of you, don't you have a ritual to perform? Do, do, do my eyes to see me? This is no time for chit chat, Reo. Arun, Ageha, focus your energies on the guardian tree. We must quell the Great One's fury, dispatch its minions, and resume the quieting. I died. Suck. Shut up.
Oh, yes. Now, focus your powers on the Guardian Tree. Is it over? Great One's anger abates. You have done well, my children. Master Aitoa, do you truly live? Live? Not as you would define the word. Mayhap in the heart of a Geha here, whose strength I borrow to join you. It's a miracle. Aye, it may very well be. Or perhaps the Mother Crystal heard this old soul's wish. I lived a long and fruitful life, but when I drew my last breath in Ogamoro that day, I do, did so with one profound regret, that I will, would pass from this w realm nah, without finding a worthy inheritor to bequeath my knowledge in full. My spirit left by my lifeless body to abide in this soul crystal with the hope that one day it would find its way into the hands of my successor. Can't speak worth crap. Are you serious? Don't you dare you um, be put that hairdo on. <laughs> For years my consciousness slumbered in the darkness until I met again. I was... <laughs> From the moment you took my crystal in hand, I knew, Pajal or no, I had an, at last long found one. One to whom I could truly pass on my knowledge. Yeah. It's a pompadour. Yes. Master Ikotoa? Power of the crystal grows faint. It would seem my all too brief sojourn here has come to an end. Farewell, Geha of the White. Farewell, my children. I leave my forest home in your capable hands. Master Ikotoa, he left us. And yet, by his power and that of his successor, Ageha, the Great One's fury is quelled and the Twelve's wood is safe. Though Master Aitoa traveled the world, no doubt his heart always remained here in the forest home he loved. He waited for us. My brother, for once you almost sound wise beyond your years. Strange, is it not? Perhaps I have finally learned something from you, dear sister. As I could learn something from you, Arun, your pride as a Pajal, your deep respect for our past, these are traits to be admired. The same can be said for Master Aitoa's liber liberality. Yes, I believe there is a place for both beliefs among our kind. The road was a long and winding one, but at last, long last, our work is done. Let us return to Camp Tranquil. I never knew they had one of those things. That... That's cool. I have restored harmony to the forest. Interesting. Oh, Guild Hest.
to meet Master Atoa in the flesh. Well, not flesh, perhaps. I am still shaking from the experience and from the pure joy of seeing peace return to my forest home at last. I will for be forever grateful to you, Egeha. I am honored that we were able to heal the world, the wood, together. Bleh. Speak not only for myself, my brother has expressed the same sentiments. Were Master Atoa here, I am sure he would say the same. Though perhaps he is still here in some form, behold, the final piece of your garb now pulses with his ancient power. Yes, there can be no doubt that Master Atoa intended this as his parting gift to you. Take it and wear it with pride, Ageha of the White. Before we part, I would bestow unto you a present of my own. By the ancient powers vested in me as a seed seer, I bestow upon you the greatest incantation known to our kind. May you ever br um, heed the will of the elementals and use it in wisdom and compassion. Phew, I'm not given to formalities, I swear. I do not know how my sister manages. In the short time I have known you, Ageha, you have grown into a fine white mage. I am honored to call you my peer. Use your powers in moderation. Let compassion be your guide. And I have no doubt that you will bring succor and solace wherever your journey takes you. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is the difference though. Oh, that. That's cuter though. One thing they never seem to give you is a weapon. And like, here, go take this. But if your weapon's crap, uh, too bad. I think I got them all where I want them. Oh. <laughs> it's a weird one at best.
He seems it cute. I think I could make one of them, maybe. See ya? That would not be that hard. Let's go out straight. Let's see if I can get a picture before it moves. Or not. Awesome. You'd be able to see where the heck I'm going. Someone's having fun with their new skill. Someone ha is having fun with their new skill of using holy. Using holy. Yeah. Do you have your music up loud? Jeez. Oh, I never did save the class and skill stuff. Ooh, that's not good. Dolphin. <laughs> Dirk Dolphin. Oh. Such a dork. I'm thinking if we get if we can get ourselves up to like 20 people, I am tempted. I still am t I'm tempted. 20, 25 people. Like if we can get around that amount of people followers, then I am tempted to do like a solo of potted. Miso Onigiri.
That <laughs> I didn't know you were going there too. I think I'm close to getting that next dungeon. She perchance per chance find the correct log, the sixth volume of 1572. I would understand if you failed. The other catalogers were often careless when returning old volumes to the shelf. My word, you actually found it. This musty old smell brings us back such fond memories. Ah, uh, here we are. If you would permit me a moment to make some calculations. Hmm. It is as I fear. The ship landed near the stone vigil of all places, which means that the garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it. Though Lord Hoshaphat is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so per mayhap you can lend you, he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Oh, so you've at least located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil? Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by dr the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by decree of House Durandere. I will write a letter to Lord Drillamont of Whitebrim for Aunt, and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you request Lord Francel to do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead is concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well in your journeys, Ageha. May Halon guide you. Alright, so... Where is this? Oh. Down there. Man, I need those cough drops or something. Oof. I feel like I'm catching a cold. Wonderful to see you again, Ageha. If there is anything I can do to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the Stone Vigil. It shames me to say that it too was once an outpost held by House Helen Helenart. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Devonian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the Stone Vigil, House Durandere instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I Hmm. I doubt my words will carry much weight with Lord Drillamont. Nevertheless, I will write your your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The cravens who attempt to destroy House Halenart have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us and towards you now as well.
This is gonna be a run. <coughs> Don't die on me. Where are you? Oh, you're still in that little area below. I'm all the way over that quarter. Jeez. You desire an audience with Lord Trillamont, do you? Ha, I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. What do we have here? Letters from Lords Hoshafont and Francel, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Trillamont's attentions are focused solely on the stone vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to ex escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Albo uh, Albois. Albois or something. Yes, Sir Albois can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. I'm going to swap over to my other characters since Orange Juices will be vlogging out for a while. We can go back to the main story and see what's going on. Yeah, you're such a baby. I don't know why this is considered a blocked scene. Yeah. Because you're logging in. Maybe they don't maybe you don't want other people seeing your other characters or something. I don't know. Even this. Not to wait until we can get the cash to do it, but it's gonna be like ages before we can even get a capture card.
There we go. Back to where we were. Alright, but while I'm at it, I'm going to say that I will be right back. Again, I don't have a back, um, be right back screen, but... I don't know. Maybe I could just like, point out in the chat. Yeah. That wouldn't be very noticeable. That's not noticed at all. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I'm going to go potty real quick and grab some coffee. Um, man, I really wish we had a beer back screen. Until then. I'll sing. Shut up. Well, until then, again, I'll be right back. Huh? Hmm? Oh, okay.
Okay. Oops. And yeah, bit entering that in, at least no one was around. Alright, so. Ah, just my luck. I had scavenged this here oven thinking I can could use it to make myself hot meals, but it looks to be in a bad way. Lots of dents, a few holes even. Hey, you're pretty well traveled, ain't you? Even seen one of these before. Or better yet, know how to fix it? No? Bah. Wait, I know who we ought to ask. Mind shoving this over to Marquis? For me, he repaired a clockwork toy I found once. So maybe he can do something with it. Is there something I can do for you? This? This is an al alchemist's alembic. You say the boy wishes to use it for cooking? I suppose it would be possible were I to, to make some modifications, but I would need a bronze ornamental hammer to do so. Can you bring me one, Hageha? You need only go so far as Camp Drybone to find a merchant who sells tools. See, I knew he did that. And I knew he was in Camp Drybone. Excuse me, Ageha, do you have a moment? It concerns this broken horologe, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. There is something familiar about it, but just what I cannot say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it would, will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Ulda in my stead to obtain a bowl point chisel and a pair of needle nose ply pincers. If you are willing to do this, please note that as they are uncommon tools, you may need to visit the Goldsmiths Guild and browse the markets in order to find them. Alright, so last time I attempted to do this quest, I could not find the item that he was requesting. Ended up going to Ulda just to find it. Now, he literally said in the text, you should be able to go to someone in Camp Drybone and ask. So we will have to go around to find someone who has these skills. And there's this one that's right there. Merchant and Mender. Oh my gosh, and it's right there. Alright, so now we have to go to Ulda and buy the other piece. Man, the work, stop it. Oh, it's the Gladiator's Guild. Back in one piece, are ye? It's about bloody time. Wait, what? Uh, that's not the quest I was doing. Oh, Goldsmith's Guild. That's what I screwed up. Went to the wrong one. I don't want to hand in that one because... When you... Uh-oh. Someone's come with their toy. Where are you? 
What? You want me to get the toy from under the bed, huh? Got it. <gasps> Bitch! It's Kiku fetch time! Alright, Goldsmiths. That's where we were supposed to go. Ugh, in the process of taking a break, I also got myself the coffee of the day. French vanilla! I gotta finish up a project tonight for crocheting because it was a gift for a present and I don't want it to take too long getting done. A bullet point chisel. Why yes, we happen to have a surplus of that particular tool. By all means, take one if you so desire. A an odd request if you don't mind me saying. It has a very limited number of applications. Alright, so Sapphire Avenue Exchange. <laughs> oh, someone's got a quest. Welcome, welcome. What might a dis- Give me the toy. Give me that toy. Give me. Fitch. What might a discerning? My word, did you say needle in those pincers? You must be a skilled, um, skilled craftsman indeed. Please, take this pair as a gift. By the by, do you have representation here in the exchange? If not, I would be most interested in discussing a partnership. I'm going to get what this guy wants. Oh. Time heals all wounds, or so say those who have never experienced true pain. More than 30 summers have passed since I carried the standard of the Dark Light Raiders into Cutter's Cry. But not a day goes by that I don't see the faces of the friends I lost that fateful day. Gerbald the Red and his loyal second, Arbreus Stillwater, Simon the Sweet, always armed with a jab and jest, our ever- Oh, and she brought her toy back. Ooh. Thomas Thousandgill, never has there lived a man with a tighter grip, beat on his sword or his coin, and let us not forget one Elm Ailson. Though it's hard to fathom now, what with all of the adventure scampin', scampering about like rabbits in the spring, there was once a time when bands of mercenaries were who the city-states turn to when in need of a blade. The Dark Light Raiders being the biggest and best of them bands, Ishgardian funded forays into hellish pits like the Aram Vale would earn us a king's ransom in a matter of days, though it only take a night of devil's play at the Mirage to see it gone from our purses, but so was the life of a raider. That is, until we took the jo that job at Cutter's Cry. My brothers and I had stood against herds of giant buffaloes on Ogamoro, snurble infestations on the Pearl, legions of cold-blooded Sahagan from the abyssal depths of the Indigo Deep, but not, but none of that prepared us for the horrors we would face in Hell's Brood Holes. None of it prepared us for the Chimera. The bards still sing of the day, seven of the Ilms, the realm's finest warriors, set off into the bowels of that forsaken place, but only saw one return, Sibold the Stoic, spared by the beast, so that he may warn all others who would fo be foolish enough to attempt to despoil the Chimera's lair. Ah, my apologies, you did not come to hear 
the guilt-ridden ramblings of an old man, but if you have a moment, I was wondering if I could ask of you a favor. The final wish of an ailing soul seeking peace with his past before departing on his journey through the seven gates. In each of the thirty summers since escaping from the maws of that terrible beast, I have returned to its lair to pay the proper respects to my fallen compatriots. However, the years have finally caught up with old Sybil, and try as I might, no longer can these bones make the trek alone. If it is not too much to ask, would you travel to Cutter's Cry in my stead and place this bouquet of flowers upon the resting place of the dark-lit raiders? Alright, and that's the quest for that one. Let's see, investigate the hedge tree. I need to set this up to... Oh, she brought her toy back. <gasps> Bitch! Alright, let's see if I can check this... I want to set up how many oh here we go display oh I guess I have the amount okay We will finally be able to say we unlock this dungeon. And that'll be two new dungeons that we actually need to get to. Cutter's Cry, a labyrinth of sand-ridden caverns, and you hear that? That sound like the woofing snort, snort when a fire catches? That's the Chimera. Not what I've seen it. No, not that I've seen it. Sure, go right on in, if you're that certain of your ability to make it out in one piece. Just don't expect me to go trotting in. They're after you, no matter how hard you wail and holler. Ah, uh, you promised old Sybil the stoke, did you? He's what's called a man of principle. He is a little too much principle, I'd say. What's wrong with wanting to live when you're you've as a wife at home, big with a child? I the tale goes that rather than facing the fate spun for him by Nemea, he hid beneath the mangled body of his leader and watched as his companions were torn apart one by one. Also he might return home to see his son born. Should he have died a hero rather than lived a coward, was being able to see his son worn worth having the um, boy grow knowing his father was a craven, a disgrace to his friends and family? Should I ever find myself faced with a similar decision, would I have the courage to walk the righteous path? Now you know the true reason I will never step into that cave. And we unlocked that one. The hedge tree. Oh, level eight. That's all I need to do that right now. Let's go back to Marquee.
planning to take my plants out today. Let them sit in the sun. I can convert the alembic into a makeshift oven, but only once you have brought me that hammer. Thank you, Ageha. It shan't take more than a day, I believe. Strange I know I must have learned these skills long ago, but I haven't the foggiest when and where that was. So I don't need that. Have you brought the tools I requested? Cutscene! Hmm, something occurs to me. Please wait here for a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands, my hands, they moved with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. But pardon me, Geha, this was a mistake. Please give the horologue to Sister Elune, the man who once own it is currently in her care and I think it best that it ret be returned to him. Good day to you, madam. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time? Mayhap they are more common in Garlemont. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Marquis said that it belonged to the deceased? Oh dear, you don't suppose that the owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But mayhap, more importantly, how did Marquis manager, manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs. Excuse me, ma'am. You don't know <clears throat> you don't know me, but I've observed you resisting the priests with their work. I too would like to offer what sucker I might. Since ten in the lick yard in this heat can quickly sap one's energies, perhaps a restorative drink might, made to combat fatigue would be ideal. Of course, uh, aqua del sol that would surely do the trick. To make it, I would need a freshly cut brazo del sol. I've not the skills at arms to slay a wild sabotender del sol, but you do, so need only go as far as the spring east of Camp Drybone. The beasts are often sighted in that vicinity. If you brought me one of their arms, I could make enough Aqua del Sol for everyone. What's funny is it sounds like a cologne.
Have you considered my request, okay, huh? I never imagined that you would return so quickly. Thank you so much. It's an incredible simple be beverage to prepare. If you would wait but one moment. There. This should serve as a sample of... Wait, don't drink it. I mean, I, I was hoping you might give the first glass to the Marquis on my behalf. Of course, I intend to provide everyone with a glass eventually. It's just that Marquis is so... Well, surely you've noticed what a handsome man he is. Uh... <laughs> trying to woo the Marquis. Oh, Geha, what is it? For me? I... Thank you. Was it perhaps the girl who... No, no, it couldn't have been her. I appreciate Ilkham's kind gesture, but Father Iliad is in far greater need of this ju juice. His work places great strain on his body and soul, yet he continues to neglect his health. I recognize you now, Geha. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part might help you to find closure. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wrong way.
Hey, you don't look like one of them church fellows. Now that I, I'll turn ye away, no sir. As ye can see, you've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lick yard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. Twas the stuff of nightmares, I say. God's damn Imperials. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks, and I sure as hell don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't I seen you round here afore? Or do ye just have one of them faces? Ah, uh, never mind. Ain't road, there's a carriage come to haul the bodies to the lickyard out by the eastern gate. There's only eight left to, a lo um, to load up. But seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying all the others, I've a mind to leave the remainder to you. I want to cover your nose while you work. Some of these folk are starting to turn. What happened to the big fellow? Ah, uh, forget it. Just bring the next batch and toss them in the bag. Ain't like they'll complain if you're rough. Ooh, harsh. Well, ain't you a strong one? Four in one trip. Reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the rest then. Come on, let's finish this before I die of old age. That should be all of them. Thanks for the help. Reckon it won't take too long to deliver all the corpses to the lickyard. Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work here is done. I see that you you decided to heed my advice. I pray that in doing so you found some small measure of peace. The first carriage from Vesper Bay arrived not long ago and we have begun preparing your comrades for burial. I had a hand in the initial rites and I 
I would like you to know that for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect and do everything we can to shepherd them to the Hall's realm. There is one thing I regret to inform you, though we wish to inter your comrades on church grounds, the number of fallen scions far exceeded our estimates. After discussing the matter with Father Iliad, we have concluded that we have no choice but to bury the dead in the same plots as those who perished in the calamity. Please forgive us, we do not wish to dishonor the memory of the fallen, but as cake taker takers of the lickyard, these are the realities we must face. Geha, what befell your order was an unforgivable crime. If you would have these villains brought to justice, consider making a pilgrimage to the mark of the warden. Though I do not follow the teachings of Azima, it is said that to offer prayers before her mark is to invoke her divine judgment. Regardless of your faith, mayhap it would be worth the effort. Jeez, come on. Thank you. 
So you kneel before the mark of the warden in a moment of quiet solitude. You breathe in deep of the dry desert air. The roar of the rushing waters is punctuated by the faint chirping of Vulcan and the shrill cries of a hawk. Gods, however, remain silent. Alright, since, uh, I guess this is a pretty quiet Friday, but I'm gonna go ahead and get off for a bit and probably get back on after a while. Um, I wanted to work on this project that I said I would work on for a friend's belated birthday. And I really want to attempt to get it done as soon as possible, so I'll be off for a while, and I will give you a heads up on Twitter if when I'm going to be back on. Otherwise, I will see you all later. Shana!